Welcome to another segment of How To Videos. This video will focus on how to protect your over-the-ear hearing device while using a surgical mask without glasses. As surgical masks are now required and recommended to use in all public facilities, and it seems likely that use of a surgical mask will be necessary for the foreseeable future as this pandemic continues to unfold, we wanted to provide you with some helpful tips or solutions and videos to protect your hearing device in case the surgical mask were to catch on your hearing instrument and fall out of the ear and potentially get lost. So for this video, we're going to create a clip that is attached by a string. One end of the string will be tied to the hearing device and the other end of the string will be tied to the clip that will be attached to your clothing. So that if by chance the mask were to catch onto the hearing device and fall out of the ear instead of falling to the ground and potentially getting lost, it'll just hang on, it'll just hang by you on your clothing. So for uh, this strategy, you're going to need these tools. You're going to need your mask, some string, and what I'm using is fishing line. So as transparent a filament line as possible, a pin, your hearing device, and some scissors. You're going to first take your fishing line and you're going to cut off about two feet of line. Any excess that we have will cut off with the scissors. You'll then take your pin and I'm going to demonstrate the knot by using a shoelace first. So we're going to make a knot that's going to be called a clinched knot and a clinched knot is going to start by taking the string and putting it through the pin and giving yourself about one about a foot worth of length. You're then going to take the end of the pin where the string is looped through it and you're going to pinch right at the end of it just like so. Now you're going to take the short end of the string and you're going to loop it around the long end five times. Three, four, five. And now you're going to take the short end and bring it back through the loop that you started by the pin. You're going to pull that through. And now you have a clinch knot. Now using a obviously a thinner string, that knot will be much smaller and you'll feel it less when it's up near the ear or the hearing aid. Now I'm going to remove this knot and we're going to do the same thing but with the fishing line or filament string. I'm just taking off the shoe string from the pin and you can use a smaller pin as well. You don't need to use a large pin. I'm using about a medium sized pin just so that it's a little bit easier to see. So first I'm going to take my fishing line here and I'm going to loop it through the pin, through the hole of the pin. And again, give yourself plenty of slack through the pin and then pinch it on the end. Now I'm going to take the fishing line and again I'm going to loop it around the long end of the line five times. That's four and five. And now I'm going to take that short end of the string again and put it back through the first loop that I made. And I'm going to now pull on the long end of the string and finish the knot. 
just like so. Any extra string here, I can take my scissors and I can just snip it off, just like so. So now I have a clinch knot on one end that will attach to my clothing. And again, the knot is quite small. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other end of the string with your hearing device. Now here, with the hearing device, I'm going to take the string and I'm going to loop it through this apex of that wired ear hook. And again, give yourself plenty of extra slack on the end. And now I'm going to pinch it. Okay. Now I'm going to take that fishing line and just the same way, create another clinch knot on this end. And I'm going to loop it around five times. And five. Again, I'm going to take the short end of the string, bring it back, and loop it through the hole at the beginning where it meets at the hearing device. And now I'm going to pull the long end of the string and so the knot attaches to, oops, to the hearing instrument, just like so. Now I'm going to take the short end that has the extra slack and trim it off. Probably trim it a little bit more. You want to be a little bit careful here so that you're not getting too close to the wire and you trim that instead. Now, one end I have tied to the hearing device, the other end I have tied to the pin so that I have a little catch. Now, when I put the hearing device in the ear, get the hearing device seated, like so. To finish it, you can then pin this anywhere. And this is why the fishing line is helpful is because if it's thinner, it's harder to see. It's a lot better if it's pinned on the back collar. But for demonstration purposes, I'll leave it in the front. And if you have a second hearing device, you can make a second knot through that same pin, through the hole of that pin, and just do it to the other end, to the other side of the device. You can pin it to the front, you can pin it to the back, whatever um, is convenient and comfortable. If you have somebody that can help you with it, great. If not, you can just pin it anywhere. It's about keeping your devices protected from getting lost. Now you'll take your mask and again, we'll put the mask on. And like always, I want to make sure that my mask, when it's on, I'm checking the hearing devices are there. Same thing when I take it off, I want to check that they're there. But again, when we're in a rush, we sometimes forget and that's when these accidents can happen. So now, when I take off my mask, and if it were to catch on the hearing device and pull out of the ear, what would happen is it's just hanging. It's not going to fall to the ground. It'll bring it to our attention, let us know that something happened when we were in that rush. Now, what, what is good is that 
we didn't lose the hearing aid. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us um, from the email on this website. But otherwise, I hope you all stay safe and hope to see you out there very soon. Take care.